This video is just to show you the, uh, the new features and improvements that um, we've done with uh, Vixen 3.5 Update 1. Uh, so there's basically six things we're going to go through. The first one is orientation property. Actually, as you know, if you've got, say, a P10 matrix, you normally got to set that up as uh, horizontal orientation. So whenever you add in an effect to your, your P10 or a grid that's set up as horizontal, you've got to apply the effect and come over here and then change the orientation of horizontal. So obviously that's one uh, manual task that shouldn't really need to be done because the, in particular my P10 matrix is always a horizontal element. So Jeff's added a uh, orientation property for the element within the display setup. So how we go about that is we'll get out of that, go into the display setup. Now if you've got uh, obviously an existing element for instance I did I've got my P10 matrix it's currently obviously always um, gets the, the effects get added as a vertical orientation now what we need to do is uh, you click on your P10 matrix you come down to configure and add the orientation property go to settings and click in horizontal as you can see there it's now added the orientation for that particular element so by default all our elements are uh, vertical and unless you come in here and change it. Now you can uh, double click on that and go and change it back to vertical if you wish but uh, for my particular element it's always going to be horizontal. Now when adding a grid it can also be done automatically. So if you want to add a pixel grid I'll just call it P10 display. and obviously set up as horizontal so it's a 5x5 five five matrix and what you'll see is when it's added P10 display it's already automatically put in that uh, orientation now what it also does is <coughs> obviously now I've got that display and the matrix set up as both horizontal so I click OK Obviously for that new one I've got to add it to the preview. So I'll come in here, click on the P10 display, click on the grid, <coughs> and I can add the P10 display. In the past what you've had to do is then click on that and change your string orientation to vertical. So you no longer have to do that, that's automatic as well. So I've now added that grid. Then when you go into sequence, There's my original P10 matrix grid and there's the, the one I just created. So now whenever you add any effect to these, you'll see that it's automatically uh, changed it to horizontal for you. So you don't have to go through that step. Um, same with the P10 display, horizontal. All the rest are, are still vertical. So for example, my mega trees, that's vertical. If I add the balls to that, it stays as vertical. What's good about this as well, if you want to copy that effect, or drag it down to the mega tree, it'll automatically change it to vertical because it knows that's elements vertical. And same the other way around, automatically change it to horizontal. So that's the orientation property. <coughs> A couple of other things we've got is uh, we've added location support to the picture effect and also location support to the video effect. So self-explanatory, just like the other location. So add a picture effect, because that's effectively got the embedded, uh, and at the moment it's uh, the blue glow dots. So if you have a look at that, you'll see that it's on my small matrix. If you add it to the other, <coughs> it's up there. And if you add it to the whole of the house, and obviously change the string rotation to location, it puts it over the house based on its size. Um, you can obviously then stretch it to grid, which takes and shows you on the whole house. And from there, you've got all your normal settings. Um, so you can have it move across your whole display. Just like um, on your normal matrix. Same with the video effects, exactly the same as that. 
Uh, the other thing that we've changed is the, the visual representation for the text effect. So just say you wanted to add uh, some text to the display. I'll just put in oops, Merry Christmas. You'll see obviously display Merry Christmas, but you'll see on the actual element itself or the effect itself it'll show Merry Christmas which is what you, you've typed in. It'll only show you the first line of text. It also shows you the font and colour. So if I change the, the font to a different style you'll see it changes as on the visual representation as well. The colours will also change. Uh, also the done the same with the countdown effect as you can see there, <coughs> it set up the countdown to the end of the effect. So two, one, nothing. So if we play that, you'll see two, one. Same with if I stretch that out, it add the numbers in. That way, uh, both the text and the countdown effects it gives you a, a good, easy uh, representation of what's within that effect without actually clicking on it and going to see what message you've got in there or what countdown you're at because you can also do countdown from time and it obviously puts in the correct numbers for you. <coughs> um, and that's all we've got as far as uh, new features and improvements for 3.5 update 1. Thanks.